to communicate with uh, priests in Haiti because I've communicated with priests here and it has been very, very helpful. But now with this new law where I'm trying to help people, I realize that it would be very helpful for me as well to communicate with priests in Haiti through, say, references and things like that. So I came here. Of course, most of the rectories are closed on Saturdays. Um, they close early and um, I needed the sleep. So I ended up coming here when it's too late, all rectories are closed. This is one of the most beautiful churches, I think, as far as architectural preservation is concerned. Well, they don't really preserve it. They just leave it as is. So I guess that is preservation because they don't change it. They don't um, make new... Uh, new buildings or anything. I think it's just one of the most beautiful places in Miami. It's not in the greatest place of town, so it's one of those places that has not been touched yet, but you already know um, infrastructure there and gentrification, they will be touching this area um, in Miami very soon. But as far as the richness of the what used to be, this church really has it. I don't know if this used to be the old chapel. I guess I would have to do research to find out. You know, this, you know, this used to be perhaps one of the more ancient chapels. But I just think this is so beautiful. If you just take a look at the door. Look at the door of this building. This is not the first time I, take, I took a video. Um, I'm actually supposed to be in a rush because I'm supposed to go and eat something before I start work this evening. But um, this building is just so exquisite. I thought, let me make a video. And it, let me also remind myself that one of my the steps that I'm taking to ameliorating my social issues um, is, you know, right now this idea of having contact with a Haitian priest, not here, but in Haiti. So um, I came here to see how they're going to help me do that. Um, I have to come back on a day when the rectories are